Hi, my name is Steve Fulton, and welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Shadow Wallet by D. Christopher. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out cardmagiccourse.com. All of those things keep this thing going. Uh, it means a hell of a lot if I get one new subscriber. I always appreciate it. And the Card Magic course is my baby. It's been going since 2013 and will keep going for the rest of my capable life <laughs> when I can still do it, when I share everything I know, live sessions, loads of courses on every aspect of magic, and I'm adding to it every month. Learn from a pro. Right. This is a, it's a wallet. And first of all, I'm going to tell you what it does because I've, I've got a little bit of feedback and I've this morning on my YouTube channel, I kind of went, oh. and then I thought, actually, no, you've got a point. Sometimes I don't explain enough what the trick does. I kind of assume people know, and sometimes they don't. So this wallet does two things, but it's not just about what it does. This is really about how it does it. So first of all, I'll show you this briefly, but in the comments on comments section, these happen every Thursday evening, UK, five o'clock, where I get into more detail. So if you want more detail on this, Put questions below, comments, and I'll answer them in the comments on comments section, or as many of them as I, many of them as I can, on Thursdays, five o'clock UK. And come along; that's a live, and you can session, and you can ask questions there. So this is two things: it's a multiple out wallet, and it's a peak wallet. And what I mean by that, the, the trick that I have performed with this is similar to as I've spoken about with things like the ID wallet, but again, this is how you do it. It's not just a trick itself. Uh, Steve Cook's ID and even Summit that we talked about, the control, what's the word? Controversial, I was thinking <laughs> I had controversy in my head then and I couldn't get the other bit. Uh, the controversial trick Summit, which, and we have a look at that review if you want to know about that. But this idea of, of having six outs, so in this context, it is, Okay, uh, I want you to imagine I've got a deck of cards in front of me. I'm going to deal out the numbers and the picture cards. And you go through a process to get down to one picture card. But in, very importantly, and I can't stress this enough, this isn't an equivoke process. And I'm not going to go into equivoke here. If you don't know it, Google it. Um, it equivoke has many layers and you, get, you can get down to one card. But when you've got these outs, you only do one level of equivoke. The rest is completely fair. And what I mean by that is you, with your verbal um, performance and your presentation, you get them to eliminate one thing, which they think is a free choice, but it really isn't. But the rest is a completely free choice down to that one card. That's the power of this. Okay, I'm not going to go into that in more detail. But as I said, research it if you... Uh, and there's loads of great stuff on it. So basically you get them down to any picture card in this. Now, I have been told by D and the, the guys at the 1914, um, that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I've got the, got the year wrong. Um, I have been told that it's okay to expose this completely. They've talked about everything about this, but I don't want to show everything in this video, but I, I can do on Thursday. So, in here, if you name any picture card, I can go into here, pull it out, and show you that picture card, any picture card at all. So you could go to someone name, saying name any picture card, but that's, again, it's not much presentation in that. But of course, you can then start thinking, well, there's many, many presentations of getting to that point. The other thing this does is it's a peak wallet. So it has a peak. So someone writes something down on a business card and you've got this and you go hold that in your hand a little bit and you know the information that they've got. Okay, so, so that's the two things that, that that does. There are lots of wallets that do that. What makes this different? Well, what makes this different? A couple of things. This is very thin, and it, as you can see, it's not a kind of open up wallet. I'm sure there's a better, <laughs> there's a better way of putting this. Scientifically, this isn't uh, produced as an open up wallet. This is one of these kind of ID cases, card holders that a lot of people are carrying now. So it has a contemporary feel to it. But it also doesn't do anything. There's no mechanics to this. So it gives it another, even though people don't know how the other wallets work, the idea of them opening, closing, putting, having different compartments, this does like a very simple thing. There's kind of nothing to hide, or so it seems. So the, the fact that you've got this really, you can have this thing on the table and then perform 
basically a small show with this because you can do a peak, you do a whole presentation around that and then you can go into the other thing or vice versa. It doesn't have to be playing cards, these six hours. You can have any hours. So there's a, a presentation on the download, which is incredibly good, uh, by the way, where they talk about signs of the zodiac because, of course, there's 12 signs of the zodiac. Actually, there's officially 13 now, but most people know the 12. And you can do a thing with that and you can start putting normal playing cards in in this and what I mean by that is that this comes with a few things first of all it comes with a filter which means that you can get your peak when the wallet is on the table in front of them you can see it and they can't that's one of the gimmicks you get the other thing you get the things that you get are these very very thin cards and again they've said that I can talk about this openly now these thin cards are one of the reasons that you get six of these fitting in a wallet that doesn't look like it can hold six of anything. This is, you know, when it's got a load of stuff in it, I've got, I've got credit cards in and, and I've got sort of business cards in there and everything. I've got this kind of stuff and it's kind of like less than a centimetre. If you've got just the things in it to do the trick, it's going to be about four millimetres. So, so that's what we're talking about. So you get all the gimmicks with it. You get everything you need to do. So this is ready to go out of the box and you get this download. The download is very, very good. It's two hours, 14 minutes, and it isn't two hours, 14 minutes of filler. What it is, and they almost apologise for this on the download, this is D. Christopher and Louis Laval. I think I've got the pronunciation right of Louis's name there. They go into a lot of detail. So if you don't know anything about Equivoke, if you don't know anything about how to get peaks or anything like that, they really break this down for you. This is for anybody to learn from scratch. Now, I do a bit of peak work and I've played with this kind of thing quite a lot but I still found it really useful to go and get those little tips and there were some little nuggets of performance in there that you maybe wouldn't just think about doing and little bits of verbal a little verbal cues that you can give that to elevate this into something uh, a lot more magical I suppose there are also some really nice presentations on it I'm not going to go into all of them there's a lovely mystery box presentation that Lewis does which completely justifies this thing of putting a, a piece of paper that someone's written on back into a wallet. Now, I don't think we have to justify it. And as he says, it's kind of something we over-worry about. But I think it's something that if it makes us feel better it, in, to justify it, it's a good thing to do. So, so this whole mystery box, uh, not mystery box, sorry, memory box, this whole memory box presentation really justifies the wallet has a lovely magical presentation in and and will again it's not like you want to copy it word for word but will spark ideas of how to actually make this something a little bit more substantial than just write on a bit of paper i'm going to tell you what it is and has got a really nice presentation based on walking into a casino that he shares with you and there are loads and loads of different presentations on this they really get into depth so you're not just getting the wallet you are getting a two and a quarter hour uh, download which, uh, from which you will learn quite a lot, I think. But it's in the using, and I've made sure I've taken this out and I've used it. And when I've taken it out, obviously we're in lockdown, there's not a lot of taking it out I can do, but I could do it in my uh, local cafe when I was getting a takeaway coffee because it is a socially distanced thing. That's a lovely thing about when you haven't got cards, you're doing a, a thought of card in the wallet. And, and by the way, he does say, I've put a card in this wallet, one card, and I'm going to try and uh, use suggestion to get you down to, he doesn't use those words, but you know what I mean, he, he, which is really, really nice. So they kind of know where they're going and you still get them there, which again, it can be quite difficult sometimes with Ecovo because they don't know where they're going. Uh, so I did do it at the cafe. I have done it social distance with three or four people in the office next door, you know, masks on, all of that kind of stuff, just in case you're worried about me. <laughs> um, and it works really well. It's great. But the brilliant thing is, this is now my everyday carry you know this is what I, this is what i use and i use the pink note wallet and that's got all my cards in it everything you know all the little reward cards everything like that that's in my bag but this is in my back pocket and it's it's just brilliant the fact that you can get this out not do anything and with no kind of mechanics or anything is i think the real strength of this I'm excited about using this because it just feels so minimal and nice. These come in two different designs, by the way. There's a carbon fiber one, this is the leather one, and it is a really, really lovely, well-made thing. The, the guys at 1914 
uh, obviously putting a lot of effort into this. You look at the website, you look at the design, you look at the, the box it comes in, and we all know that's not the be all and end all, but it does telegraph something to me. It goes, they care about this, you know. It looks really nice. The way, the way you, you receive this makes you think it's something substantial, but that means nothing if you then open it and think it's rubbish, and I don't think anybody will. There, there's a great peak on the download, by the way, which is very different, where you can actually without using this filter thing. The filter's only like an added thing. You, you don't need to use it. There are many things on the download that, that talk about not using it. But it's a really lovely peak of a, on a blank business card on a billet where it happens with this face up. So basically you're, you're not hiding anything. They see that, they see that window, they see what's in it, but you're still getting this peak. And I thought that was really, really clever. I loved it. I'm excited to watch what the rest of these guys do. I've looked on the 1914 website. They've given me access to the downloads. There's downloads on there. There's not loads on there at the moment, but with the quality of this, I'm really, this weekend I'm going to look at it, so I'll probably talk about it on Monday. But there's downloads uh, about stage performance, stage craft. Um, Lewis has got a download about the reveal and not wasting that opportunity we have to reveal this really magical moment and how easy it is to throw that away. So I think we're going to see really good stuff from the 1914. So any more questions? There's a lot more to say about this, but I will do that on the comments on comments section on Thursday. So Thursday after this goes out, we'll be talking about this and I will show you the wallet in detail if you want, because as a, that's what they've been doing. And I think it's actually a wise move. They're so proud of this that there's kind of nothing to hide. You know, you're going to see exactly what it is and then still want to buy it, I think. Uh, so it's a very cool thing. So there's the Shadow Wallet uh, by D. Christopher. Please check out the links below. It's really kind of people to send me this stuff to review and I don't take it for granted. And it's really kind of you to watch it and I definitely don't take that for granted as well. So please like, subscribe, check out the links below uh, and do check out carmagiccourse.com. If you like this review, you are going to love that course if you want to learn from a pro. Have a great one. Take care. See you later.